Hey guys, how's it going? Alex K here. Welcome to Sub Tokyo. Happy New Year's. It's 2012 and it's super early in the morning, super cold. And I thought we would start out this year by going over the traditional Japanese New Year's. So let's go. Uh, okay, so I quite missed it, but the first sunrise of the year is called Hatsuhinode. Hatsuhinode. Um, of course, the sun's already all the way up there. Um, but let's go over the one phrase that m most people say during the New Year's, which is Akemashite omedetou. Akemashite omedetou, which is pretty much Happy New Year's. And Kotoshi mo yoroshiku. Kotoshi mo yoroshiku onegaishimasu, which means, um, well, there's really no direct translation for that, but it's pretty close to, um, let's be more acquainted this year and let's do our best. Alright, so during Oshogatsu or New Year's, a lot of people put uh, this decoration in front of their door. It's called uh, Shimenawa or Shimekazari. There's another one. Okay, another thing that people do on Oshogatsu or New Year's is they visit uh, the temple shrine uh, first thing. It's called uh, Hatsumode, going to the shrine and your first um, prayers or wishes at the temple. So here we are at the little temple shrine that I came uh, during the summer for the uh, Matsuri or festival. And uh, there's quite a bit of people coming in. Uh, most people like to come on the 31st, midnight, uh, but other people come during the day. So it looks like this year they have these uh, Gambaro Nippon banners. Um, these are the banners that started popping up right after the earthquake, um, which mean, um, let's do our best Japan. Alright, so after offering up their prayers or wishes, I guess, um, they come over here to buy their omikuji or uh, fortune slips to see how their luck this year will be. And um, if it sucked, you tie it somewhere over there. still rather early in the morning, but I'm thinking that a lot of people will be coming during the day. This is another type of decoration you see in New Year's. This is called uh, Kadomatsu. It's a really pretty looking decoration, uh, rather big, so you don't see it at many homes, uh, mostly bigger houses and businesses. Here's another very pretty Japanese style house with a Japanese style gate with Kadamatsu decorating it. How about we go over some traditional New Year's food now? This is called Ozoni, soup with mochi or rice cake in it. Traditionally, this is eaten on New Year's and throughout the week.
there's a pretty interesting thing that companies do on New Year's. Uh, they sell these bags called fukubukuro, or these grab bags or lucky bags. And um, they usually have a lot of random interesting stuff in them, um, like, I don't know, shoes or clothes or household utensils and stuff.、Um, this is a little promotion that this bank is doing. I don't use this bank, so I don't think I can get these, but yeah, this is a little example of a fukubukuro. So, I just noticed what this bank is displaying here is actually a bunch of、uh, traditional kids' toys that Japanese people or kids play during the New Year's.、Um, we have little kites called tako or、um, the tops called、uh, goma.、Uh, we have a couple of them up here too. Obviously, these dolls are a representation of kids, but. I don't know if this is part of tradition, but there's a kaleidoscope or mange kyo there. Here's a packaged goma set or top set.、Uh, this supermarket is selling something that is special to the New Year's. These are、uh, little decoration mochi called kagami mochi. Here's some other ones, the smaller ones. With a little mandarin orange or mikan on top of it. I don't know if they eat these, but usually they're a decoration. Just spotted some giant tuna heads. Another thing Japan does is New Year's cards or nengajo. Generally, these cards have a New Year's greeting on it, and many cards are decorated with the Chinese zodiac animal of the year. As you can see, 2012 is the year of the dragon. Japan's postal system builds around the New Year's and allows you to have your cards delivered right on New Year's Day. Alright, guys, that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the various aspects of Japanese culture that I went over in this video about Oshogatsu or New Year's in Japan. Thanks for watching. This was indeed my first video of 2012. I just want to take a moment to thank all of you for watching and supporting Sub Tokyo throughout 2011. Whether you're a new watcher or someone that's been there from the beginning, I want to thank you all for watching and supporting us and being awesome. And、um, I hope to bring you more awesome content this year, 2012, as usual as we have been doing since the beginning. So I want to thank you all once again, and you guys are all awesome. So make sure to be sure to hit subscribe and leave comments and suggestions below on what other videos you want to see this year. And make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter at SubTokyo Vlog and on Google Plus. And make sure to check out the, our blog.、Um, I actually took a bunch of pictures、uh, today with all the New Year's stuff that's going on.、Um, and yeah, so check that out. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'm Alex K. This was Sub Tokyo. And I'll see you later this year. Bye.